The tale of the USS Antigua is a fascinating interplay of commerce, engineering, and military history. In an era where world powers were flexing their naval might, and international trade was becoming more globalized than ever, the story of this ship provides a nuanced look at how various interests can converge in the form of a single, multi-purpose vessel. Initially designed and built as part of the United Fruit Company's vision for a class of sophisticated refrigerated cargo liners, the Antigua was not just another cog in the vast machine of maritime trade. This ship was an innovation, a melding of form and function that would serve multiple purposes. For United Fruit Company, the goal was clear a cargo vessel capable of maintaining the freshness of their bananas while transporting them across vast distances. But the ship was more than a floating refrigerator. It was a marvel of engineering designed to carry up to 113 passengers in first-class comfort, complete with all the luxuries one might expect from an ocean liner, including a swimming pool and a ballroom. With its sleek design, passengers and cargo would be moved efficiently and elegantly from San Francisco to Balboa, Panama, fulfilling both commercial and luxurious passenger services. This duality of purpose came into sharp focus as the world found itself plunged into the chaos of World War II. The U.S. government saw the potential utility of ships like the Antigua for wartime logistics and promptly placed the vessel under the control of the War Shipping Administration. Though never formally commissioned by the U.S. Navy, the ship was renamed USS Antigua and given the designation AF-17. Her peacetime purpose of carrying fruit and passengers was supplanted by the pressing demands of global conflict. Modifications were made to her original design to facilitate wartime duties. Guns were added, lending her some teeth against the threats of enemy aircraft and submarines. Antigua was now prepared for a new role, that of an armed cargo vessel and she and her merchant marine and navy armed guard crew would find themselves thrust into the maelstrom of the Pacific theater. During the war, Antigua's activities included vital resupply missions and involved her in operations around strategic locations like Eniwetok. At one point, the ship even found herself aground on a reef in Hawaiian waters, only to be rescued by the USS Jicarilla. These wartime adventures added a layer of battle-hardened pedigree to her resume, a stark contrast to her civilian past of transporting bananas and well-heeled passengers. As the war came to a close, so did Antigua's stint under the War Shipping Administration. She was returned to the United Fruit Company in 1947, and resumed her prior trade routes. In the years that followed, the ship underwent yet another transformation, being sold to Swedish owners in 1957 and renamed Tortuga, before finally meeting her end in the scrapyards in 1964. The story of the USS Antigua serves as an interesting case study of how a single ship can encapsulate broader themes of trade, technology, and military utility. She began her life as a state-of-the-art combination of refrigerated store ship and passenger liner, evolved into a symbol of wartime pragmatism, and finally returned to her commercial roots. The Antigua was more than just steel and rivets. She was a vessel that sailed through the complexities of a world in flux, and her story is a testament to the adaptability inherent in maritime enterprise. I know you win.
used to be. Once your love belonged to me, it was divine. Don't you recall once you were mine? I knew you when. Once I held you in my arms. Once I thrilled to all your charms. You loved me too. That's what you said, but was it true? You only wanted amusement. You only wanted to play. But I learned just what the blues meant. When you went away, I knew you well. We were lovers long ago. Now you're someone I don't know. Though you forgot, I can't forget I knew you well.
knew you when. Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.